Well, to my colleague, uh, the gentleman from Kentucky, Representative Morgan McGarvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Three years ago this Monday, in the middle of the night, without warning, four Louisville Metro Police Department officers bashed in the door of a 26-year-old woman's home, startled and terrified as any of us would be. She and her boyfriend leapt from bed. Her boyfriend grabbed his gun and fired a single shot in the direction of the intruders. In the barrage of return fire, she was killed in her home, cowering by her bed from intruders she never knew were police. Then silence. It took two months before we learned that that woman was Breonna Taylor. Lori Anderson said, you die three times. First, when your heart stops. Second, when you're cremated or buried. And third is the last time someone says your name. Say her name, Breonna Taylor. Brianna Taylor was a caregiver from a young age, an EMT who saved lives, a young woman looking for her American dream, not just a nameless victim. Brianna Taylor was loved and had so much to give. Brianna Taylor's math teacher called her brilliant, saying, quote, she had a beautiful mind and she was very helpful to others. Brianna Taylor was someone's sister. Brianna Taylor was someone's girlfriend. Brianna Taylor was someone's daughter. Brianna Taylor was someone. Brianna Taylor was 26 years old with dreams, plans, and her whole life in front of her. We will never forget how Brianna Taylor died, but we also have to remember how she lived. That's the life that was taken that night. 26 years old convicted of no crime, charged with no crime, didn't even know it was the police who had broken into her home. It took two months before we even knew to say Brianna Taylor's name. Two months of the LMPD hoping Brianna Taylor's death would be swept under the rug. We know that LMPD was there without probable cause on a deliberately falsified warrant. We know that this extreme, tragic, horrific killing was not an isolated incident. We know this because yesterday, five days before the third anniversary of Breonna Taylor's death, the United States Department of Justice released a report that unequivocally found disturbing patterns of systemic racism and discrimination within the LMPD. This report is based on an exhaustive, nearly two-year-long investigation into the LMPD. But there's nothing in these pages we didn't already know. Still, the report is damning. It's heartbreaking to read. However, this report is a beginning and not an end. We should seize this moment to right past wrongs and protect everyone in our community. But let's not forget, Brianna Taylor should be alive today. Her mom would rather have Brianna alive than a report. Brianna Taylor's death should not have been the catalyst for change and accountability. We should have addressed this a long time ago. Brianna Taylor deserves justice, and while we can't bring her back for her family and friends, we can help keep Brianna's spirit alive. We should remember Brianna Taylor as the funny, bright, caring, and loving young woman she was, and carry her memory with us as we take action to demand real, lasting change. Let's say her name, Brianna Taylor. I yield back.